Hello everyone, today I'm actually very close to the gates and I'm in the entrance of the Battlefield Park right here also known as the Plains of Abraham well actually more people call them the Plains of Abraham so I'm going to show you there's a actually pretty long way to get to the park so I'm not going to show you at all oh and if you come here there are some rules so just in case you ever come here no fire and no flower picking so there was actually the uh, annual summer festival here and although it ended almost a week ago actually it ended six days ago they're not done removing all the stuff as you can see so it's probably going to reduce the length of this episode but I'm I was planning on doing two episodes for this because the Plains of Abraham are actually pretty huge at least too big for a 15 minutes episode so this is where the, the show shows were there were something I bet there were uh, three shows per day so that and the show lasts for 11 days so that that probably had something like 33 shows on the plains of Abraham so even though it's called the plain there's actually quite a lot of hills not too big but for people who have a hard time breathing or the elderly that might not be the ideal place to visit but it's a very nice place to visit I used to come here uh, at least once a month ju just do stuff outside because it's one of the nicest places around Quebec City if you want to just be outside there's the Concorde Hotel it used to be a Lowe's but it closed down and reopened as its own independent hotel I've heard it's pretty good but there's not as much services as there used to be well maybe they're just that's probably just temporary I'm sure it's going to be better in a few months so I'm going to I think I'm going to go over there because over there uh, it's probably going to be well better if I make another video about that so let's climb that hill over here oh by the way it's uh, 8 a.m. and I just went on a night shift so I sorry if I short on breath I just worked on a night shift sorry about that so there's a little bit of trash here but like I said it's because of, of the festival uh, almost every day there was at least uh, 60,000 people coming here and that's the very least there were something like a, a thousand fifteen festival passes sold and yeah that's it so it's uh oh you can see the you can see the St. Lawrence River here not the same part I showed you for my first episode but and I believe if I go all the way up we can see the uh, the two bridges I think not sure don't remember been a while since I climbed here actually I believe this is the first time I come to the Plains of Abraham since I started to work at uh, my job which is actually an hotel right next to the the planes that's why I decided to make this episode I felt like doing an episode I said 
why not go to the plains of Abraham because it's very worth it if you like to go outside and I'm not usually the guy who likes to go outside I'm more indoor guy except for when it comes to traveling that's the only time I enjoy being outside So here we are, we have a very nice view of the St. Lawrence River here. Uh, you can walk here, I believe it leads all the way to the Chateau Frontenac. That's probably something, that's something, I think I can do this episode, I think I'll do it. Yeah, why not? Anyway, I was wrong, we cannot see the bridges here. There's a souvenir shop right here, but since it's Saturday morning at 8 a.m. It's probably not open And I didn't remember but the place I'm going to show you right now is called Governor's Promenade or Promenade des Gouverneurs in French because we're in a French community here So here we go, let's walk this way You can almost see where I went on my first episode. These are the cliffs I showed you on the first episode, actually. So, I've, I haven't been to this place for at least 13 years. Oh no, wait, uh, 11 years. I was 15 years old since I last came and I'm 26. Or maybe it was less than that. But anyway, it, it's been it, it's been a few years. I was below 20, that's what's important. So for people who like, well, walking or jogging, this is actually a very nice place. If you ever come to a hotel, the, uh, the sh hotel in the old city or around it, like those on the Grand Alley. And if you want to go to, uh, if you want to go jogging, I suggest this place. It's very nice. Oh, we can go down here. I'm going to have to raise the camera a bit. Pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera a bit because there's people and I don't want to record them because that will be impolite. So I'm going to show you the scenery here instead of just a walk board. There are all these trees right next to the to the, this walking board reminds me of it actually reminds me of uh, when I take the train from Latuc to Saint Moore because that's what it looked like. So now we have a much much better view. As you can see, there's a little ship over there. There's also some uh, helipad uh, that, that took like a port stuff or something like that. I don't know exactly. There's some, there's a cycling road and someone who's 
cycling, uh, biking, any, I guess. So let's continue on. And if I'm right, because I'm really bad with uh, geography, uh, not geography, but localization, I believe this is the wall that lead to the citadel. Something that I should make an episode of someday. That's what I like about this, the uh, Quebec City. If since I have to start small because of founding problems, this is something that that is awesome. There's so much to do and see in Quebec City, at least for tourists. And even as a someone from Quebec City, or well, at least very close to, uh, even for me it's interesting. I will definitely go to the Museum of Civilization someday for an episode of this. Sorry if it's shaky, but it's hard not to make the camera shake when you're walking. Oh, and by the way, even though I mentioned founding problem, uh, don't worry about it. I'm not forcing you to uh, give me money through Patreon. It's only if it's really up to you. And I'm going to manage, even if I get no money. I'm, things are just going to be a lot slower, but I'll do, some, I'll do my big project someday. But for now, even the small stuff is very interesting. You might have problems seeing it, but there's a cannon here, an old-fashioned cannon that... I don't know if it's a real one, probably not, but it's the same type of cannon they use in, they use in the... Uh, seventh, uh, I think it was used in the 17... Yeah, 17 until 1759, I guess, the end of the Seven Year War. I believe that's what it's called. I'm not good at history, sorry about that. I was better in geography. Oh! Remember my first episode? I said that it was very hard to see because of the fog. But now the weather is better. So I'm... You're probably going to be able to see the bridge that leads to Orion Island. <laughs> Something that I would do. But even if it's that close, it's very hard to me for me to go there. Because I don't have a car and there's no bus going there. At least no city bus. You can probably see it. I have a hard time seeing it through the camera because of the sun. But I see it just fine. From here, with my own eyes. I believe I was wrong. Because this keeps going down and down. I don't think it's going to lead to the Chateau Frontenac. Still. Won't be a waste of time. It's always worth walking. Because the air is good, the weather is good, and the view is good. So no time wasted here. There's some ships. Two ships. I don't know their name. All I know is that uh, they have the uh, maple leaf and the logo of the country. Yeah, I'm going... I'm pretty lower than 
when I started this video. Well, seems I will end up in the lower town. That's nice. Well, well, what do you know? I am actually going on in the, on the Dauphin Terrace. I don't know how it's called in English, sorry about that. But I am actually going to the Chateau Frontenac. That's nice, that's very cool. There's a family over there. So yeah, I walked all the way through the Promenade des Gouverneurs. That's awesome. I didn't plan for this. So you can see Levy over there and you can see the Orléans Island a bit further there. Oh, there's a Canadian sign there. Maybe it will tell me the name of this place in English. Because as I said, I don't know the name in English. And this is officially the longest episode I've made so far. I believe I'm already at 17 minutes, something like that. But, oh well, it's worth it. That's all that, that matters. Ah, oh, this is actually not a... Uh, yeah, I was right. Dauphin Terrace. And there's also the Saint Louis Forts and Chateau. Another national historic site. But I think I'm going to end things here because I don't want to bore you in a single freaking long episode. So I'm going to end this episode by showing you the Chateau Frontenac and some cannons from a bit a lot closer than what I showed you so far. See you next time, hope you enjoyed!